not many people can rock the flute like James Jeanne. After being in Canada for only four months, Jeanne was asked to perform at the Indochina Chinese Pavilion at this year's Folklorama. The flute he's playing is a traditional Chinese flute, with a little bit of history behind it. I play the, the Chinese flute, bamboo flute. So it's a very old, very, very old instrument. The oldest one we found in China was 9,000 years old. But at that time, it made by animal bones. And the oldest bamboo flute is like 5,000 years old. So it's a very old one, yeah. This flute, however, is not quite as old as those others. Well, the one I play is about 20 years, okay. yeah. <laughs> not that young. As traditional and ancient as his instrument is, his motivations for picking it up were anything but. When I was seven, eight years old, I started studying that because of a Chinese Kung Fu TV show. One guy in the show, he plays Kung Fu very well, and the flute was his weapon, very powerful weapon. And I was really, I, I really liked that show, so I started to, I decided to study Chinese flute. Based on why you got into the flute because of the Kung Fu, have you yep. fought anyone with the flute? Uh, <laughs> no, no, but in music, maybe yes, but in Kung Fu, no. Speaking of martial arts, if music isn't your thing, the Indochina Chinese Pavilion offers a pretty impressive display of a martial art form called Wushu Dancing. Jason Penner, who has been involved with Wushu Dancing for a number of years, got into the art form via other forms of martial arts. Uh, I enjoy it because it's more of a showy type of martial art. I was originally in Kung Fu, which is a very rigid and disciplined art, whereas this is more of a performance art, and I really enjoy that aspect of it. I grew up with a lot of friends who were involved in martial arts, and I just enjoyed the things that they were able to do, and I wanted to do the same thing, so I, I went into it as well. Okay, so don't worry. I know what you're thinking. What's up with the dude at the back of the stage? Uh, he's more of a symbol of the show in general, like he's a, a big part of the cultural nine dance and that, and he's, he's just sort of there to give the audience something else to look at. He, he's supposed to represent Buddha, and he just he gives a comic relief to the shows. Not that they're serious to begin with, but it gives them something else to enjoy. If you want to see some wushu for yourself, or come and see James rock the flute, come down to the Indochina Chinese Pavilion at 435 Cumberland. It runs until August 17th. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Jay Williams.